go. Go for it. All right, Jeff, this is Brett with Mountain Music Lessons. Today we're going to cover our G major scale. I'm going to start you on the 10th fret of the A string. <clears throat> middle finger, and then pinky on the 12th. Next string down, pointer, middle, pinky on the 12th again. And then pointer finger, ring on the 11th, and pinky. So I'll walk you through that. One, two, three. And backwards. Okay, so, do it once more and call out the fingers like you always do. Oh, sure. For okay, me. so that helps me remember. So we'll do um, three, four, middle, pinky, pointer, middle, pinky, pointer, ring. And it'll be the same thing down here on the third fret of the E string. Okay. Middle, pinky, pointer, middle, pinky, pointer, ring, pinky. Okay. And that's our G scale in two octaves. So okay. you can jam through that. Okay, so we started on the third fret, mm -hmm. E top string, E yep. string. Top string. Okay, then on the se the second, second we're on the tenth fret mm -hmm. of the A string. On the second the A string, the second yeah. string. Very good. Okay. okay. Other than that, the only thing for you to work on is um, playing like a, a full G chord, lifting off the pinky, muting the high E string, and then you can add on, say, the pointer finger on the second fret of the D string. Okay. Or pinky on the fourth fret of the D string. Okay. Pointer finger on the second fret of the G string, pinky on the fourth fret of the G string. And if you walk through that, open, Pointer, pinky, open G string, pointer, G, pinky, G. We're now walking through that same scale while holding a chord. And you can even throw in up strums. It's a very, very cool technique combining rhythm and and okay. lead at the same time. Great. So you do, so have fun practicing that one.